June 22nd, 2024, number 4,374, The Myth of Choice. I choose love, I choose recognition, I choose engagement, I choose world travel, I choose to be exactly who I am within the bounds of logic and reasonable law with no repercussions, but how many people can I love at once or even in a lifetime individually? It cannot be just one other person because I've lived and there have been a few. And for what do I want to be recognized or how by my face, my gait, my shape, my occupations, my preoccupations, my so-called mistakes, and what kind of engagement am I choosing? Sex, small talk, conversations that go well into the night while we're all stoned or high or drunk or coffeeed up sober? Or do I simply mean affianced? And where in the world am I traveling? Any place else that I've been before with what means? Sometimes we have no choice or we don't have many. Isn't freedom lovely? Define free. Better yet, find good. What are the qualities of a decent person? My grandiose aspiration to be one, to have one, to know many. And what's bad? Name a bad quality that is also tantalizing to otherwise decent people. What are my options? Well, choice being lovely and all and mine. Is it a pickle or an honor to get to choose the qualities that make decency and those that make evil? I see three paths before me. I pack my bags filled with chains and locks and with keys long thrown away. Which path looks happier? Another word that needs its own architect. I make choices, build walls and doors with bars that are heavy and so hard to move. There is no world for the indecisive and I am so exhausted with all of these choices. Freedom.